the earth fault loop impedance path of an installation connected to a TNS earthing arrangement. In the event of there being a fault between the line conductor in the installation and an exposed conductive part, the fault path or earth fault path would be as followed. The exposed conductive part would become live. This is connected to the circuit protective conductor, the CPC. This would become live. This goes back to the earth terminal situated within the consumer's unit, which would become live. This is connected to the incoming earthing conductor, which comes in with the double insulated meter towels. This earthing conductor becomes live. The earthing conductor is connected to the lead or steel sheath of the supply authority's cable, which becomes live. This is connected to the earth neutral point within the transformer, which becomes live. Back round the line conductor, completing the circuit. The fault current will pass through the main cutout fuse rated at either 100, 80 or 60 amps, but will not cause operation. The fuse that will operate is the one closest to the fault. In this case, the fuse located within the consumer's unit will operate, clearing the fault in circuit. This is the full earth fault loop path and needs to be a very low impedance in order to generate a very high fault current to cause rapid operation of the overcurrent protection device.